guys, it's Tori. So today we are doing a massive, massive, massive book haul. Like I think I went a little overboard with my book shopping recently. Um, the thing is, is that Amazon and Target have both been having book deals on top of also Barnes and Noble. And my birthday was yesterday. So I got some books for my birthday from people. I bought some books for myself and this is probably the past like month maybe I've been buying this many books and it definitely has gotten a little out of hand but we are going to do a ridiculously large book haul. So without further ado let's get into my book haul. Okay I'm gonna start with Barnes and Noble and then we will get into all of the Amazon packages and I believe I have eight Amazon packages to open which is a little ridiculous but first um a few weeks ago my brother and I went shopping I did a vlog for you guys if you haven't seen it it should be my last video so make sure you go check that out but at Barnes and Noble they had buy one get one 50% off a lot of their paperbacks and so I went ahead and bought the second and third book in the Twisted series by Anna Huang. So I bought Twisted Games, which is book two, and then also Twisted Hate, which is book three. So I got these because I finished Twisted Love. I finished Twisted Love. And so I was like, okay, well, I need the next ones so that I continue. So I need to get reading these because I want to finish the series so I can start a new series. And I have a lot of series in this abundance of situation we have going on back here but those are the first two and then yesterday for my birthday my boyfriend took me to barnes and noble so this is my barnes bag and i got four books i made a little list so that we could be prepared because i knew he wouldn't want to be in there for literally hours so i prepared and i accumulated a list of books that he could buy me but quickly i want to take a little appreciation for my poster wall isn't she perfect don't we love her i'm obsessed with her which is why i wanted to sit here to film this but um like look at my signed oh, i love it i am definitely going to be filming book videos from he like right here from now on anyways let's get into my barnes bag so like i said i have four books and then he picked this out because he liked it so i'm gonna just show you guys that as well this is a little friends day at a time calendar and it has like friends quotes on it he saw it and he's like i really like that so i'm gonna get it for you because he knows that friends is my favorite show so then let's get into the books that i got for my birthday so like i said i made a little list and i seriously struggled to find all of these books most of them i thought would be super easy to find and that clearly was not the case like i literally went to the romance and the thriller section yet still struggled to find them so the first one was the house across the lake by riley sager i have seen this book literally everywhere and i'm so freaking excited to read it um, this is a thriller mystery and I, like I've told you guys before, I'm trying to dip my toe into other than just romance. I want to get into thriller mysteries. I want to get into fantasy. I'm just trying to venture out a little bit. So this one I'm seriously so excited about. I don't know when I'm going to get around to it because I have so many fucking books to get through, but I knew I wanted this one. Next is Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, I've not read one of her books yet, but a lot of people love this one. And I believe I saw a TikTok about it of like, you know, how people do like the pictures that explain a book or maybe it was a quote even. And I saw this on there and I was like, yep, add to cart. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna add that one. Next, I had If He Had Been With Me. I believe I saw Sarah Caroli read this and she said it was one of the best books she's ever read and she gave it five stars. And so I'm very, very excited about it. This is supposed to definitely be a tearjerker, but I think it's gonna be really, really good. So I'm very, very excited to read this one. And then the last book that my boyfriend bought me is Ricochet by Krista and Becca Ritchie. This is the second book in the Addicted series. I have the first one, but once I read that, I want to at least have the second one so I can be prepared. I feel like for Amazon, we should start with the like bags. I have three of them. I don't think all of them are just books. I think there's 
two other things that might be in there but we are just going to dive into the first bag okay so the first book in that package is king of wrath by anna huang this is a new series by her but i believe it's slightly based off of the twisted series and i saw this and i was like i have to have that this one just came out i think just within the past few months it's very new but the cover is literally stunning and I'm very excited to read this one. Next is the first book in the Inheritance Game series. I have literally heard so, so, so much about this and I've been dying to read it. So I bought obviously the whole series. You'll see that as I open packages. But um, this is about a girl who is not living the best life. And then all of a sudden she gets like a phone call or something and they're like, hey, you just inherited billions of dollars from this guy she never even heard of or met and basically there's like a love triangle they're trying to figure out why she got the inheritance and there's like a it's kind of like a mystery a little bit like adventurous um there's like a bunch of clues and riddles that they have to solve and this is supposed to be super super good so i'm literally so excited to read this um i've seen so many reading vlogs on this and it just sounds literally so good i'm gonna open the next bag okay so in that amazon bag is today tonight tomorrow i saw this on steph boyer's instagram she like um was annotating it or something and i believe there was a line about one of the characters liking harry styles and so i was like yep we're buying that we are instantly buying that but this is a ya romance and i think it is also a academic rivals so i'm very excited about this one i feel like it's gonna be really easy to get through it's just over 300 pages and the words aren't too small so i feel like this is gonna be like a nice quick one especially for if i'm like in a reading slump or i just need something in between a series just something to kind of keep me going so i'm very very excited about this one the last amazon bag i feel like this one is not a book but is it is book related in a way so this is way more than I expected it to be but I ordered um markers because I bought a book journal which you guys will see is one of in one of these boxes I don't know which one but I bought a pack of like colored markers so that I could do journaling so I could like write down my TBR and ratings of books we are now going to get into the first package and every single one of these boxes is literally so heavy so i'm not gonna hold them up for too long okay there are four books in here so the first one is twisted lies by anna huang this is the last book in the twisted series since i have the first three i figured i might as well have the fourth one this one is hefty she is i feel like the thickest of all of the books but I'm very excited to have this i just wanted to complete my series so that i can be able to read them as i get through the book like the earlier books does that make sense next is terms and conditions by lauren asher i have um the fine print by her and i wanted to have the second one because the third one comes out soon so i wanted to have the second one so that i can get through the first two in the series so that when the new one comes out i can order that next is the hawthorne legacy by jennifer lynn barnes this is the second book in the inheritance game series i'm very very excited to read the series and of course i bought all of them because for some reason i have it in my mind that i need every single book in a series all at once before i can start reading it i don't know where that came from or why that's the case but i am extremely excited about this book the last one in this package is Better Than the Movies. This is by Lynn Painter. I have heard literally so many good things about this. So many people love this book. It is a YA romance, but there's like a bunch of really cute quotes from rom-com movies at the beginning of each chapter. It's not super big. Um, like I said, it is YA. So this is only 350 pages, but it doesn't feel like 350 pages. But I'm very excited about this one and I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun and just a quick one to get through. We have a, another smaller package so we're going to open that one next. This one is very heavy. Okay so there were two books in here and then also my reading journal. So this is the reading journal that I got. Um, it 
just looked really cute and it had good reviews and I'm really excited to get into this. I might play with this tonight actually and just kind of start writing things down so that I can just kind of get the hang of it. I've never done a reading journal before, but I'm very, very excited to start doing that. The first book in the box, this is literally so heavy. This is definitely the reason that that package was so heavy, but this is the Mindfuck series by St. Abby. This is books one through five all put into one. Each individual book itself, I believe, is like between 100 and 150 pages. So this whole book is like 700 or 750 pages, something like that. 700 pages. But I'm so excited about this. I have heard the best things about this book. And so I'm absolutely ecstatic to read it and... A lot of people said that since each individual book is so short that they flew through the whole series. So I love the cover. This is basically like if Dexter and Criminal Minds had a baby with a romance twist to it. So I'm so excited about this. The last book in the package was Rule of Wolves. Um, this will all make sense when I start to open the other ones. But this is by Leah Bardugo. This is part of the Grisha verse, which is Shadow and Bone, Six of Crows, and then these, this duology. So it's a trilogy and two duologies, but I'm very excited to read this. It's so, so pretty, and I'm really excited to get into that universe. I watched the Shadow and Bone Netflix series and I fell in love with it so instantly I was like okay I need the entire Grisha verse that's how much I loved it and I'm not a huge fantasy person or at least I haven't really gotten into it much so when I absolutely was obsessed with the show I was like okay I'm gonna love the books that much more okay this next package is like skinny but literally so heavy so I don't know what is in here but it's extremely heavy that is all I know okay there were four books in that box and these are thicker ones so the first one is king of scars i believe this is the first one before rule of wolves this one is in paperback the only one i couldn't get in paperback was rule of wolves because it's in i believe it's newer and so they don't have it in paperback yet but like i said this is part of the grisha verse which is part of the shadow and bone series this cover is literally stunning i'm like obsessed with it but I'm very excited to dive into this universe. The next one everybody's heard of, Icebreaker by Anna, Hannah Grace. This is becoming a series, but this is the first one and the next one isn't out yet, but I think it might be able to be pre-ordered already. I'm not actually 100% sure, but this is a ice skater and hockey player romance. I believe it is a bit of enemies to lovers if I'm not mistaken, but I've seen this one everywhere and I figured winter's coming and this would be the perfect time to read this, but I've heard the most amazing things and it's been all over TikTok and Instagram, so I'm very excited to get into this. The next one is I Fell in Love with Hope by... Lynn Callie. That's all it says. This, I believe, is a self-published book. I don't actually remember. It is smaller, but a little bit thicker. I don't remember what this one is about. It says, time will seize, disease will fester, death will die. That's really confusing. But this is a romance. I believe this is a sad romance. The cover is stunning, but I'm very excited. I seen this author and this book on my tiktok here and there it was a big thing a few months ago and it's been sitting in my tbr wish list on my um amazon storefront so if you haven't checked out my amazon storefront the link is down below you can go see what books i'm wanting to purchase and also my five star reads there's other things other than just books on there but i'm very excited to get into this one and then the last one in this package is ivy this is by devin perry and um this i believe is a third person point of view but this is supposed to kind of be like pretty little liars i don't actually remember um i saw larry reads and steph boyer both read this and really enjoy it and it's a three person story so it's like three roommates or something and um they each have a different romance and so you kind of get that in the book but I'm very excited. This one is 
pretty thick. This is a 500 page book, but I really do like the cover and I'm excited to try this author and also um, read this book and just see the story. I love books that are kind of like college based and stuff because that's kind of the age I am. I did just turn 19, so very excited to read this one. Okay, the last Amazon box is this one. She's a bit bigger. She's heavy. This is literally packed full. Look at that. Oh my god. So many books. The first book in here is A Court of Frost and Starlight. This is the fourth book in the Akatar series. Um, I have the first two and so obviously I wanted to continue having them. This one is a novella. I've heard that it's not necessary to read it but that it does kind of make a difference and it's nice. This one's only 200 pages so it's a lot smaller of a book but it is like I said a novella. This is supposed to just really add to the series and just really kickstart things for the last book in the series so very excited to read this. I love the color of the series like they each are a different really pretty shade and so i'm excited to read akatar i plan on reading it while i'm on christmas break because it's such a thick series that i want to have the time to really devote myself to it the next book in here is the final gambit this is the last book in the inheritance game series this one is like i said also a hardcover because it's a lot newer it just came out in maybe september or july but they haven't made it into paperback yet. But I'm obsessed with this cover. This one's my favorite. I love red. And it's just so pretty. Like, look at all the imagery on it. It's stunning. Literally, like I said, 50,000 times. I'm so freaking excited to read this series. This is definitely one of the next things I want to read. The next book is A Court of Wings and Ruin. This is also by Sarah J. Mass. This is the third book in the Akatar series. Um, I wanted to complete my collection of them so i have the third one in here i believe this was part of the amazon buy two get one free so i bought it of course this is a very thick book this one is a little bit different from the normal storyline this one's more based on the war rather than like the fantasy romance of it but this is such a pretty color and if I didn't mention, this is a fantasy series. And like I said, I want to dip my toe into fantasy. So I do have a good mix of fantasy in these last two packages. But I'm very excited to get into the series. The next thing in here was something I debated on buying. But it was on such a good sale that I decided it only made sense for me to buy it. And this is the entire Shatter Me series box set. The only thing missing, I believe, is the novellas, which I've heard are not necessary to read, but I probably will read them. I know I don't plan on reading this series soon, but I wanted to have it just because. So there are six books in this box set, and then there are two novellas, and I believe each of the books that are novellas are two novellas, so it's like... You read the first book, then you read the first novella, then you read the second book, and it's like a novella in between each one, I believe. But I'm excited to have this. Um, this was like literally $30 for all six books. That is literally such a steal, and I just fell through it. But I'm very excited to have this. The last book in that box is A Court of Silver, Silver Flames. This is the fifth and final book in the Akatar series. This one is quite hefty and I've heard that this one is extremely extremely spicy but like I said I'm very excited to get into this. I'm so glad I own all of them now because I can just really get started on my Akatar journey and get into my fantasy. I was watching I don't remember her name because I don't watch her very often. She's a newer YouTuber that I started watching, but she just made a video on like the best books to read to start getting into fantasy. And this was her top pick was the Akatar series. So I have the last one and I cannot wait to get into this universe. I've just heard the most amazing things about it. Everybody seems to love it. So I want to love it too, because I've so tired of FOMO that I have. All right, the last box is the biggest box, and this is my Target order. They had buy two, get one free, and so I really took advantage of that. Look at this. This is massive. This is ridiculous. This is 
unnecessary. So the only reason I even made my Target order was because, like I said, it was buy two get one free and I was already planning on buying these books on Amazon but when I looked on Target I could get all of them for literally $45 and the cool thing is I got three box sets for $45. So I'm just gonna show you what they are. I'm literally so excited. First one is the one I'm most excited about and that is the Shadow and Bone trilogy i bought the box set because it was like 20 dollars, and like i said i was already gonna buy it on amazon and when i saw that they had the target sale i was like why would i not buy it on target because i can get it literally on sale so i got i paid for two of these box sets and then got the last one for free so this is the shadow and bone series it's shadow and bone siege and storm and then Ruin and Rising. I'm so, so excited to get into this universe, like I've said. Um, I just think that it's going to be so good because the show is so good. And if you have not seen the show, please go watch it. And then if you love it as much as I did, get these. Get them. I'm so excited to read this. Last part of the Grishaverse is Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. This is also a box set that I bought. Um, I think this is the one I got for free, but it's the last installment of the Grisha verse that I don't have, I believe. So I finished the whole series. Okay, the last book purchase of this absolutely insanely unnecessary book haul is the Folk of the Air paperback gift set. This is the box set of the Cruel Prince, the Wicked King, and the Queen of Nothing. This is by Holly Black. This is the whole trilogy of the Cruel Prince slash Folk of Air series. Um, like I said, I just thought it made a lot more sense to get the box set because it's way cheaper than buying each book individually. And I've seen so many good things about this series. I've seen a few mixed reviews, but for the most part, it has pretty good reviews. So I'm literally ecstatic to have this. So that is the end of my absolutely massive book haul. I just counted and there are... 37 books 37 and i have an absolutely endless tbr already like absolutely massive so was this necessary absolutely not am i still so excited and not at all bothered that i spent this much money on books yeah very excited very unbothered do i have more books that i want to buy Yes. Am I asking for more books for Christmas? Absolutely. And is my book shopping addiction ever going to end? Probably not. But I hope you guys enjoyed this huge, huge, huge book haul. I hopefully will never have one this big again because this is absolutely insane. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what book content or content in general you guys would like to see and let's give one last appreciation for my amazing poster wall i'm obsessed with it there's harry up there multiple times and of course miss taylor swift i forgot to tell you guys i forgot to tell you guys how did i not tell you guys this immediately i'm going to see taylor swift in june at detroit i'm going to see taylor swift i secured tickets the week of my birthday it was the best birthday week ever i secured taylor swift tickets i got a bonus from work and it was my birthday and i have a fuck ton of books now so it was a great week if you got tickets to see taylor swift please let me know down below i am literally so ecstatic after seven hours of waiting i secured my tickets so i couldn't be more happy with all of that being said I will see you guys next time. I love you all so, so much. Have an amazing week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.